Uh, Josh yeah. Allen is, uh, yeah, yeah, likely to be limited. I mean, let, listen, there's multiple doctors giving multiple opinions on this one. Sean McDermott sort of indicated at his press conference on Monday that we would know a little bit more today as we got through the day uh, as they continue to gather those uh, medical opinions on Josh Allen. Look, you start getting into certain ligaments. You talk UCL. Everybody hears UCL when it comes to baseball. It doesn't mean to, uh, that Josh Allen's getting Tommy John surgery. That's not usually a thing for NFL quarterbacks. So, Relax on that one. It is an elbow sprain. How severe is the sprain? Can he play through it? Uh, we saw the next pass after he got hit, kind of dove down a little bit, but then he threw that last one down the field, looked pretty good right there. So, uh, yeah, th there's hope in Buffalo that Josh Allen will be able to practice and play his way through this injury, Tom. Uh, but we wait for the final diagnosis. That's right, Mike. And the diagnosis is key here because, as you mentioned, this is not strictly a because you have an elbow injury, you're being shut down, you're ultimately going to have surgery. We've seen other quarterbacks, including Matthew Stafford, play through an elbow injury. There's different types of treatments. There's different things that you can do to manage it. But it all depends on exactly what Josh Allen is dealing with here, which is why he gets those additional opinions. So Ian Rappaport, our colleague, mentioned it for the first time yesterday that likely limited in practice this week, but certainly early optimism about Josh Allen's status for this week against the Vikings is also the Bills' most important player, to say the least. They will absolutely exercise caution here, so this will be one one to monitor all the way up till the weekend. What's good, YouTube world? It's Jay Coffee tapping back in with another one, man. And you guys hear that clip there? Josh Allen, uh, we saw after the game, you know, there was reports people saw. If you pay attention to the different clips and whatnot, Josh Allen kind of, you know, moving his wrist and elbow around in some discomfort or whatever, you know what I mean? And it, it wasn't a good sign, but after the game, Allen indicated it's nothing. I'm going to be all right. You know what I mean? But um, it's been wild because the second half of the Packers game and, of course, the game against the Jets, it was just like Allen was off his game. But um, from, from my understanding, from what we're seeing in these clips and whatnot, what happened against the Jets – uh, you know, you, you see the clip right where his arm kind of got bent back while he was in the throwing motion. That's where we're hearing um, or or where I understand that this injury came from. What do they say? Flexor slash UCL. I, I don't know. I'm not a anatomy guy. I know their ligaments. Uh, it's it's in that elbow and his throwing arm or whatever. But I don't know. Uh, shout out to my bro uh, Sensei who tapped in. He says breaking news. Josh Allen needs surgery, season ending injury. He's gone. Right. I don't know. I'm not necessarily seeing it that way yet. Cause um, you know, from from my understanding. There's a lot of different doctors, a lot of different opinions going on. You know what I mean? We know in the NFL, uh, these guys, the, the the care that they get, the things that they do regarding uh, treatments and things like that to try to get back out there is amazing, right? Like, y'all remember the dude that um, rebuilt Shawn Michaels for all the wrestling fans out there, and he worked on Bo Jackson and, like, some of this stuff, like, Shawn Michaels was never supposed to step foot back in a WWE ring again, let alone, you know what I'm saying, be out there giving sweet chin music, coming off the top rope and all that good ish. Now, obviously, it's WWE, NFL. We're talking about two totally different things, you know what I mean? Um, I was just talking about with that Logan Paul injury the other day. Everyone stopped calling it wrestling fake, you know what I'm saying? It's real contact out there, et cetera. But, um, you know, like, the ring, the, the ring isn't forgiven. You can get hurt, but obviously if you are out there nursing something and you're putting on a show with someone else, they can, you know, act accordingly to try not to further injure or aggravate whatever you got going on. We know in the NFL that don't happen. Motherfuckers is on your ass, on your bumper, trying to lay you down. And, you know, I don't know, man, like this is, this is wild. I'm still keeping faith, though, as I I haven't um, I'm going to like what Sensei is saying. I, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything officially stating that yet. Uh, from my understanding, it's all still up in the air. There's reports that um, he doesn't need surgery. You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those wild situations where there's just a lot of source reporting this source reporting that. You know what I mean? And um, 
I don't know, man. It's like uh, we're hearing the timetable on that injury. If it's just like a, a sprain can be a two to four week thing. So obviously, but then there's reports saying he might be able to practice slash play through it. And we know dudes can go out there, uh, get some kind of injection to numb them up. And, um, you know, like I'm not an advocate for that, obviously, because, you know, he, I mean, without a doctor stating that's okay, because obviously you can re-injure yourself like a mufflucker if you can't feel the damage that you're doing. But man, this is just crazy. Like, I don't know. I'm keeping the faith. I'm waiting to see uh, from my understanding. We're going to go no more as the week carries on as we get closer uh, to that weekend to Friday. Saturday, but this is just a goddamn shame. Apologies, y'all, for any background noise you hear. I'm bringing you guys this video on the fly. Apologies, too. I just haven't been on point with the content like I uh, typically used to be. You know what I mean? Life's been wild, but this just sucks, bro. Like, um, I, it's wild, too. I'm seeing a lot. You guys see a lot of different comments. Of course, share your thoughts, share your opinion. Um, I mean, obviously, Josh Allen just had a terrible game. But in my opinion, still in there for the MVP running and for something like this to happen is like, oh, man, you know what I mean? And I hate to see some people talking about, oh, this is the most Buffalo like thing. That stadium is cursed. We got to get the fuck out of there. Like, I hate that ish. You know what I mean? Like, come on, P, this ain't this. This we ain't in the drought anymore. We are a top tier talent in the NFL. And what do you guys think? Um you know, we got this game, big game coming up against the Vikings. Um, po quite possibly, could this be, you know, is this going to be the Case Keenum show for a few weeks? And if that is the case, uh, what do you guys think? Are you confident in Case Keenum at all? Um, you know what I mean? Then we know we got Barkley on the practice squad. Do you guys think we go out if Josh Allen is on the shelf a few weeks having to heal up? Um, or, or if it is worse, do we go out and sign someone out there in free agency? Um, what is your thoughts across the board? What's very interesting to me is I'm seeing a few Chiefs fans comment and saying, hey, I'm a Chiefs fan. Like, I hate Josh Allen and the Bills on a competitive level. You know what I mean? They just came in our house and beat us. You know what I mean? Outplayed us a few weeks ago, but I want Josh to be healthy. You know what I mean? I don't want I don't want to win the AFC without Josh Allen out there. I don't I don't I don't want that kind of cheap win or whatever. You know what I mean? That's like interesting to hear. That's some good sportsmanship, and I really, really uh, respect that. Like, real talk, man. You know what I mean? Um, I remember back uh, in Josh's rookie year, I think this was a similar injury that he had. If you guys recall, against the Titans, a late hit it was. He got his helmet or elbow sandwiched between two helmets late on a play, and he was out for, what was it? Was it like six weeks or whatever? Um, and I'm not even going to talk about who went out there. I swear I will never mention that bum buster piece of garbage name ever again. I don't know if he's still with the Raiders, still on a roster. I couldn't believe that that sack of ish remained in the NFL. But again, I'm not even going to say his name. But man, this is just tough. This is this is rough. You know what I mean? Um, what's blowing a lot of people's mind is that Josh threw that 70 yard Hail Mary bomb on the last play of the game after having this injury. And you heard the gentleman in the beginning, um, you know, reacting uh, to all this news saying, wow, like, you know, and you see someone tweeting about it saying, what is this guy, a cyborg? Like, th this is this is absolutely crazy. But I don't know, guys, I'm, I'm not um, I'm, I'm keeping the faith. I, I don't think that uh, this is a season ending thing, um, but. I don't know. I don't know. It's still all up in the air. I don't really know, man. I'm kind of like just I'm really feeling it right now, like in a, in a bad way. I'm sure everyone can imagine like this is the, the, the worst right now, you know. So tap in, hit the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we're definitely going to be updating you guys on the story. As always, I got to get back to making this content. You smell me? Um, you know what's wild too? You guys remember back in like 08? Tom Brady got his knee blown out in an opening day game against the Chiefs. That's the year Matt Castle played. Matt Castle, I guess, um, someone was asking him, what does it feel like to drive another man's Ferrari? Isn't that crazy? Wasn't that like, even though obviously I despise the Patriots as a divisional rival, I've always looked at, um, you know, that situation is like a, a, a pretty wild uh, metaphor. You know what I mean? But it was wild under 
Castle. The Patriots won 11 and 5 and missed the playoffs. You know what I mean? The ish was crazy. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. Um, stay tuned. Let's talk in the comments. Help me get through the pain, y'all. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Jay Coffee. We ain't tripping. You know what I mean? Come on, Josh. Fight through this. See you later, y'all. Peace.